Cluj became a very expensive city from the point of view of the housing market. This happened in, especially in the past uh, seven years, so after 2014, um, which is a trend that uh, is uh, characteristic for all the European uh, cities where there are jobs and in parallel with the formation of areas which are depopulated. Amikor feltűnt, ezt nem Kolozsvára, akkor úgy gondoltam, hogy én itt akarok élni, itt akarok megüregedni, de egy évvel ezelőtt még nagyon biztos voltam ebben, de egyre inkább azt érzem, hogy, hogy a jelenlegi fizetésem, vagy egyáltalán az esélyeim szerint nem engedhetem meg magamnak azt, hogy Kolozsváron éljek, vagy, vagy nem tudom. Tehát, hogy azt érzem, hogy most már elbizonytalanultam ebben a helyzet. It's a common knowledge that financialization is, is defined as the situation in which the financial actors, investment funds, banks, uh, non-banking financial institutions are having a bigger and bigger influence on the housing market. So housing became a financial asset, so something that uh, people invest into affording even, you know, to buy uh, housing units and leave them empty uh, or use them do just during uh, touristic seasons or use them as Airbnb or apart hotels. Hát például az Romániában, hogy nem kellett volna a lakásokat kommunizmus után így elengedni, hogy magánkézben legyenek, hanem mondjuk az állam is tarthatott volna meg valamennyi apartamentet, azért, hogy utána ne, ne legyen az, hogy most már ilyen horribilis lakásárok vannak a magánszférában, és egyszerűen nem, nem, tehát nem az, hogy, hogy stagnál, hanem egyszerűen folyamatosan csak nő, 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 nő. És szerintem fontos lenne, hogy akkor mondjuk visszavásároljanak apartamenteket, hogy valahogy beállítsák egy, egy normális We have a problem concerning the public stock. It's quite low in Cluj, less than 1%. And in this sense, I think the local authorities in Cluj should invest more in social public housing and also in affordable housing. But I think it's a problem not only in Cluj, it's also at, uh, at the national uh, level. We do not have a social, affordable housing uh, uh, stock. And uh, mostly everywhere in, uh, in Romania is less than 1%. Also, we need, as other major cities in Europe, uh, have these kind of policies uh, in collaboration with uh, private uh, real estate developers to take 5 or 10 percent out of this private uh, real estate development and to come with uh, social and more affo affordable uh, rents. At this point we do not have local regulations concerning uh, this and we do not have a national uh, legislation. One of the biggest contrasts in the city is the existence of uh, a, resi a residential area nearby the landfill of the city called Patarut, where uh, around 1,500 persons are still making a, a living. So there, there are very long histories, uh, and in including histories of eviction during the 1990s when the land in the city became more and more uh, important uh, for new constructions. Uh, those people who were having vulnerable situation um, were, were evicted and directed towards Patarud by the local authorities. We are in Patarut. Everything that you see around me is uh, highly toxic. Uh, there is the toxic ramp of the pharmaceutical company. Right there is the waste dump of the city. One of the waste dumps over there is another waste dump. Heavy metal concentrations are up to 1,000 times the alert level, which means that uh, 
the authorities should intervene. Uh, they've been knowing about this situation since 2009, so before the evacuation and still did nothing. Okay, over there you see the Dallas community, uh, 750 people in that direction, 800 meters, is the Cantonului community that is around 800 people and uh, behind the camera it's again 150, 200 people more, that is the Rampa community, the, the, the waste dump community. Uh, there's no school, there's no, mm, no medical facility, no nothing. Problema e cu chiria asta și dacă se poate face ceva sau să audă careva să mă ajute, să ajung la ăia mari ca să mi se iei jos datoriile astea, nu numai de pe mine, cei de pe patru prunci a mei. Dacă vreau și au posibilități să le aducă la copiii noștri, că sunt copii mari, un teren de folbal să poate să se joace, ce pot ei să aducă din la mână, din la mână, îți copii care n-au un parc? Petarat is a striking example of environmental racism in which uh, the community of Roma population from the city uh, were expelled and uh, we want to alert about this kind of situation and support uh, the community in the finding of solutions uh, at the local level but also national and European level. You go to these barracks and ask anybody what they need and they will, they will say that they want to get out of here. The problem is that getting out of here is not easy. And uh, you need to understand that uh, these people stay here not because they want to, it's not because it's their culture, it's because they are lacking the resources to make the move. But everybody wants to move out of here. The European Union took their feet off the pedal of Roma integration, now everything has to be green and uh, the green discourse is not really rolling in this toxic waste area. And, uh, because of the green discourse being so heavily uh, middle class uh, targeted, uh, I don't see any, uh, any reasonable hope that uh, the big greening discourse of Europe will hit any soon this uh, toxic and forgotten area. You don't anymore have well enough financed international bodies and international European political interests to uh, reasonably put pressure on local authorities. What can work is, uh, is shaming. And uh, in the last uh, 13 years since the Costa evacuation, uh, there was a homeopathic thread of every year activities, protests, remembrances uh, that kept the theme, kept the topic on the local public agenda. What is the average pension here in Romania? It depends on a lot of things, but that's the average. We made a performance about uh, how hard it is to rent or buy an apartment here um, at Cluj. We are uh, in a situation when it's a daily crisis for us uh, and we wanted to see if um, anyone shares housing crisis with us too. So we made a quiz and uh, the winner could get a golden square meter here in Cluj. So the winner became a property owner, which is a very hard job to do here. And uh, we also asked some personal questions about the living situation of each individual. And they had to answer by squatting or standing up. If, it was, uh, if they also had the problem, they had to squat down. If they did not, they had to stand up. So here is... You can, you can stand up and there will be the yes. second question. I think it's a it's a problem everywhere. So we made it um, according to data um, that we got here in Cluj. But uh, even if the wages are higher in other countries, the rent is also higher at the times. And it's also a question if um, there are enough houses to rent or not. So I think it's a problem for not just our generation, but the generations before and after us uh, in Europe. So we, are, we uh, were really happy that we could make this performance with um, people all over Europe. About the local authority plans, 
to upgrade the roads and infrastructure in the northern part of the city. Beyond I think the it's bay. important to have this kind of transnational uh, events and uh, small festival as uh, Trans Europa is trying to do in, uh, in Cluj. Why? Because we uh, gather more uh, experiences uh, and we uh, talk about similar problems that are everywhere. So we, we see this kind of, um, let's say, capital movements everywhere. And in this sense, the activists which are trying to tackle these kind of transnational uh, movements of the capital should uh, show their their solidarity and I think it might be uh, beyond this kind of uh, symbolic uh, solidarity because what we are trying to do at this uh, point to have this kind of EU uh, uh, directives in, in Europe that put uh, social housing and affordable housing on the agenda not only at a local or a national level but also at a European level. Uh, directive would help uh, enormously. Why? Because we need to construct a social uh, Europe, a more social Europe and also a, uh, an environmental uh, Europe as well. Uh, I want to say that uh, industrial heritage, um, ecological uh, issues regarding so much and also social issues are totally related and I totally agree that we need a common agenda to discuss uh, together this.